Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Hanover High School, home of the Hawks. As you see, the JV Hawks warming up for tonight's matchup between Hanover and Patrick Henry. The JV team for Patrick Henry has already warmed up. There's a minute 30 on the clock yet as Hanover is warming up. And I have a roster for them, um, but I don't have any numbers. I didn't come with numbers on the website. So here, here they are, um, some of the girls, and I know Hanover uh, tends to be a, a school that does produce a few travel players out there. Um, so th so there, there could be some that look familiar to some of you. Um, I do recognize a couple of names from last year. Charlotte Thompson, I believe, was on the team last year. Natalie Wood, uh, Caitlin Smith, I think. Um, there are couple of eighth graders on the roster obviously they didn't play last year um so yeah we'll have to see how it is isabella murphy sounds familiar as well uh, i don't know a whole lot about them other than I, I i know that they're they have a published record of three and four um they uh have beat uh they beat monican just tuesday night two to one the monican jv obviously and they lost to Deep Run on Monday, 2-0, to zero, and that's the opposite of the varsity. The varsity beat Deep Run Monday, 3-0, and they lost to Monikin. So, uh, you know, JV is uh, looking pretty good. I've been watching them warm up a little bit. They look like uh, this should be a good match between the Patriots and the Hawks as we get ready to get things started here. You hear the horn going off. And I am way up in the stands tonight, and I have zoomed my uh, screen in just a little bit um, on the court, so I may have to move it, move it around a little bit, but I don't want to have to kind of swing it back and forth too much, as I think you guys have enough experience with me to know that I'm not very good at that. Uh, so let me get rid of the little banner there. And we'll get things started. And I will update everyone again on the standings for uh, varsity and uh, where where everything is kind of settling in right now. Tonight is a huge night of volleyball. Just about everybody in the region is playing uh, tonight. So there should be some, some movement happening uh, after tonight for sure. And those that aren't familiar with Hanover High School, this is the largest high school, l largest building and, and facilities in the county. Not necessarily the most students, but it, it's it's the um, uh, it's the spot where you know the, a lot of the all county choirs and such come here, and they'll have all county um, uh, you know other scheduled events or whatever they'll use these facilities because this is this is definitely the largest gym in the county by far um and you can see the, the the glare on the court a little bit as there are some night or some uh, uh windows up across the way up high and as the evening moves on they, that will that will go away so unfortunately during jv matches you tend to see that glares it's usually still light out um so varsity matches, it's usually gone by then. So, so we'll get things started soon here. I did, I was able to get a, 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 a screenshot of their roster. So I'll just kind of keep that close to me here. I like that they're wearing their white jerseys, Hanover, because I tell you, when they wear those blue jerseys and they have the green numbers, it, it is nearly impossible for these old eyes to see what those numbers are. I do see number 14, Kate McCormick, on the court. She looks like the middle. Uh, number four, Izzy Murphy, is lined up as an outside hitter. And... Actually, 14 maybe. I don't know. We'll see how they are lined up here. Number seven, Emma Corker, is on. Who else do I see? Number 11. Oh, that's number 11, Charlotte Thompson. Number 14, Kate McCormick. 
Yep. And number three, Christina Atkins is on. They do have a libero jersey on the side, um, but she's not standing up ready to come in, so I don't know if she's actually going to be used. I think I see Olivia Welsh over there, number six. In here for Patrick Henry, kind of a typical lineup. You see Hannah six and Madison Mays lined up outside. Ryan Sauer middle. And the other middle is Sophia Knaus. And you see the right side hitter, Miley Murray. And the setter will be Simone Lawson. So we're getting used to that lineup quite a bit. I would imagine that we'll see some Emma Hutto coming in. In fact, there she is on the side as a libero. She'll come in for Sophia at the beginning. Emma Goldman might make her way in. Annalise Melton tends to get some playing time too. So here we go. Simone will start things off for the Patriots here in Hanover. And she sneaks it over there. Pass going a little bit backwards there. Nice free ball for us. Madison just missing getting that over. As the girls play more often together, they'll know to work on that exchange quite a bit. So unfortunately my phone doesn't stay on all the time, so I'm gonna lose the I'm gonna lose the roster quite often. That's Izzy Murray serving. Might be able to remember some names at some point. Madison to serve. Being a little more conservative. She goes long on that, though. Don't see that high toss that you we have seen her with her serves. Christina Atkins serving it, just getting it over. Wow. Just kind of barely scraped over the net there. So I couldn't tell if it was she was aiming that or because it's such a long ways away. She just barely got it over. We'll see. Ryan Sauer back to serve. See Sophia Knaus on the front row. See if Sophia can get into this. She's been aggressive and really making quite a difference. Oh, that's a scramble there. Hanover with a point. The Hawks up 4 2. Charlotte Thompson with an underhand. Hannah six finding that middle zone. Smart play. We see Emma Golden, Goldman coming in. She'll run the back row, serve for Murray. I do see a libero coming in for the Hawks. Hannah, six big strong hit, but a little long. Hi, pop fly. And there's a nice swing by Sophia. A lot of bumping going on. That goes out right there. Hannah having to bump that over. Set was a little deep for her. Looks like Olivia Welsh back there serving. Again, these high underhands. 
Almost like a changeup in baseball. They're not used to having to receive it. Here's McCormick out of the middle. And she goes deep and it lands in. The Hawks finding the, uh, the inside of the court and Patrick Henry finding the outside of the court right now. Seven to three, Hanover. There's a good pass, Emma. Sophia. Sophia with another good swing. And I think as she is developing, we'll see we'll see her have more confidence, put a little more pace on that. Hit it a little harder as she gets used to whipping that that hand and following through. So that is off the hands of the libero, Carson Peters. 7-5. Hannah 6 back there. Let's see if I can turn a little bit for you. And that won't make it over. I might be able to zoom in a little more once I get used to these names on the other side. Hannah, strong serve again. McCormick having to set. Here's Simone with the lefty. Just pushes it to the setter. Good smart move there. Setter has to hit. Oh, good reaction by Sophia. Oh boy, number seven. Emma Corker, I'm not sure if she was aiming that way. We'll give her the benefit, benefit of the doubt. But she found that, that cross, hard cross, and it landed on the floor. Emma Corker back to serve for the Hawks, up 8-6. Another one that just sneaks over. Oh boy, just snuck over. Good reaction by Mays. That's a smart smart move by Hannah. I think that might have been in. There's a lot of court back there. And Madison hits it off the hands of Olivia Welsh. 9-7. PH. Emma Hutto, the sophomore, back to serve. A nice serve. That's a shank off of Peters. Emma has, her serves have really been picking up. They look nice. And another good one off of Peters. So Peters is digging in. She's just reaching up a little bit. It's going off her arms in the wrong direction. Hutto's tied it up at nine. She gets it up in the air that time. Nice free ball. That's going to go long, though. Point for PH. Hutto sneaking it over. And the lefty comes up from the back. Yep, Olivia Welsh. Timeout, Hanover. They want to stop this bleeding. 11-9, Patrick Henry. Good turnaround here as Hutto has single-handedly brought him back just about. So I mentioned earlier... A lot of action happening tonight. 
And this is, oops, that's not a good spot for that. See if I can move this over, there we go. I'll come back to this and talk about all the action that's happening. Hutto's serving again. And Mays gets a hold of that ball as it goes right over top of the neutral zone. Let's see if I could show Hutto here in the frame. Goldman, Hutto, Mays just having to push that over. That's not going to make it. So good job. Hutto's still going here. The, her serve is certainly keeping them from getting into their offensive uh, system. And that's such an important thing. There's a good pass. And that's a net violation, though, as the setter. I think that's number four, Izzy Murphy. The pass was a little bit tight for her. She had to push it over, and then she banged her back into the net. Another one. Oh, and I think um, right now Emma is setting. Simone can go after that first ball. When she's setting, she's not used to that, though. Another scramble, but that one lands. What a great kind of reverse down ball there by Goldman. See the lefty dropping it in. McCormick trying to involve the up ref. He's not allowed to play. 16 10 pH. And there's an ace into the back corner in front of Welsh. Hanover having trouble getting things started on their side. McCormick, oh, that hit the back. <laughs> you saw it, it. I don't know if it went out of the screen. I think it hit the uh, the basketball net. Is kind of hanging. It's way up there, though. This is a huge gym. Very tall ceiling. McCormick really popped that up high. And a miss hit there. Hanover, all the wheels have fallen off. 19-10. They were up 9-7. to seven. So it's on a, we're on a 12-1 run. And that's going to go out for Murphy. Not much going right for the Hawks. So we're going to see Annalise Melton come in, and Hannah Six will have a seat. 20 to 10, PH. Hutto will push that over. Back to Mays. Ooh, and Mays probably, that may have been close to going out, but Welsh went after it. Yeah. 
Middle hit. Kate Ballot snuck in on me. Balut. She snuck in the game on me. I didn't see her. So timeout Hanover. I mean, this is a quite a run. It's a 15 to 1 run for PH. If you haven't been to Hanover High School, I recommend it. It's a nice, certainly a nice school. Nice venue. The, um, uh, I think my favorite part is is the uh, the stage, the auditorium. It's it's gigantic in there, and it's super nice. My oldest daughter used to do show choir, and they would come over here often. Something happened there. A little net violation. There's very little chance I'm going to see that number. I think that might have been Murray. And that's going to go wide. 23-11. PH. Madison will go back to serve. So she gets a little more aggressive, throw that ball up in the air some. Yeah, just being careful. And off the hands of McCormick. That ball might have might that ball might have escaped. In comes the backup ball. Madison serving for the set. And McCormick. Murphy having to push that over. And Kate will get the final kill. 25-11. What a comeback. And Hannibal was in charge there. Big, big set win there. 25-11. Just kind of kept them on their heels for a while. All right, let me show the standings for the girls. And you can see that tonight, off to the right, these are their matches, that, that, that are, there's the matches that are happening tonight. The only two, two teams that are not playing, Chancellor and Spotsylvania, are off, but everybody else is going. And Monaghan is currently in the lead right now. Patrick Henry is sitting fourth. Obviously, tonight against Hanover, we want to flip that, try to get ahead of Hanover, move ourselves into third place. Um, I imagine Atley will take care of Mechanicsville. Um, but the Monacan James River matchup is interesting. Monacan beat James River 3-1 to one early in the, in the season before school even started. Uh, but James River's been playing okay. They're, they're, not, they're not the typical James River uh, of the last few years. They have, they're about 500, and they've beaten the teams they should beat, and they've lost to the teams that they probably should lose to. So no surprises there, which means they might have a hard time with Monacan tonight. But once you get past the Hanover schools, then you're in the, the northern schools for a little bit. They're all kind of jammed in there. <coughs> Excuse me. But those top ten, I mean, it's it, it's important to understand, too, what's going to happen, who's who's getting above that red line, who's not. I do think Powhatan might sneak their way up above that line. They're taking on Manchester. They should beat Manchester, but this is a strange year for Powhatan. I, I don't get it. Um, and Eastern View has won two in a row. or the, the, I'm not sure two is a good number to go after, but i we'll have to watch what happens with them. But, you know, they'll sneak in. And for us, if we can get in that top two, that would give us two buys in the playoffs, assuming you went, we win. Um, but that would be uh, not two, excuse me, not two buys, two home matches. Um, the first round will be the seven versus the ten and the eight versus the nine if they keep this format of ten teams going. And then the winner of the seven, ten will play the two. And the winner of the 8-9 will play the 1. 
And then the rest of them will be set. Three versus six, four versus five. Tip typical setup and bracket play. Uh, but we still have quite a few matches left. PH has, I think we have this one and eight more, nine more, something like that. Um, so a lot of a lot of volleyball still left to play. I do anticipate Hanover, I hate to say it, but I anticipate Hanover dropping. They've got five, including tonight, they have five tough matches on their schedule. Two with us, one with Atlee, one with Milothian, and um, I don't remember the other one. They have another one on their schedule that looks looks a little tough for them. So, okay, set number two, and who do we have? I see Ryan Sauer on again. I did not see the middle who came off. Perhaps Kate again. I see Madison on. Emma Goldman's on the back row right now, and Aubriana Atkins is on the back row. Hanover will lead this one off. And there's, look at that down ball, just right in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to have to be careful of my battery power. I failed to bring my, my cord today. It'll be fine for you guys. It may not be for varsity. I don't know. Good block. Well, off the hands of McCormick. And Welsh. And out of bounds. That'll be a pH point, though. 2-0. See if I could zoom in a little bit here. Maybe get you guys a little closer to the action. Maybe not too much here. And then I need to be a cameraman. McCormick. Simone. And here comes Madison sneaking it over. Ooh. Off the hands of Murray. Really quiet in here. And that almost snuck its way over. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit because it doesn't show up high. All right. Madison, ooh, good serve there. McCormick giving it back to us. <laughs> Madison had to race in to get that. Oh, that one's going to go off the hands of Emma. McCormick back to serve. Strong serve there. Madison, though, gets it. This will be Annalise putting it over. Middle for Sauer. Just a little bit long. This is it, It's a little tough to see, I know, because of the glare. Plus, the, the lines are yellow in here. They're kind of a pale yellow. And I think you can see them a little bit on there, but certainly tough to see. Melton with a good pass. A free ball for Hanover. Nobody there to cover. Four to three pH. Ryan will serve, and sure enough, Kate came into the game. Good spot. Got it back. Oh, Kate wanted to kill that, but... Just a little bit out of her reach. This is Welsh. There's the underhand. That's going to go wide, though. Out of bounds. 5-4 pH. Uh, 
Emma Goldman to serve. Ooh, oh, nope, she was not on the line. And Elise will push that over. And get her right back. Good hit by Ballot. Ballot, Ballot. I need to get that name right. And I think we have a net violation. Charlotte into the net for the Hawks. Good strong serve. Here comes Simone from the left side. That's what we like to see, or the right side, excuse me. And Elise getting blocked though, keeping it alive. Good hustle by Patrick Henry. Good solid block though by Hanover. Let's see who is serving now. Welsh, I think, is number eight. Sorry, Mackenzie Smith is number eight. Welsh is six. So I can't pull up a roster and do the camera. Down ref wanting to talk about that a little bit. Probably going to correct something here. Be surprised if this goes back over to Hanover. Hmm. Okay. Down ref got something from the up ref. Coach not thrilled for Hanover. 7 5 PH Melton back to serve. Just a miss hit there by Kate. I think she wants that one back. Atkins coming in for Milton, playing back row. And I saw Gooch, Caroline Gooch come in for Hanover briefly, but she's out now as McCormick will come back to the front row. Underhand for Thompson. Good push, good spot. Madison finding it. So Emma Hutto back to serve now. Oh boy, there it is again. Right off of Peters. Emma's liking to pick on her. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Here. I don't think I need to go that far. And somebody stepped in front of Peters that time. Good push there. Atkins, good pass. Oh, Goldman put that over a little too far. Kind of uh, ended up setting the Hawks. For that one. Murphy back to serve. 9-7 pH. Ooh, just off the hands of Atkins. He kind of pushed pushed a little too soon on that one. Not a huge crowd in here yet. It's just kind of a quiet night. Hanover's tied it back up again, 9-9. Nine, nine. Atkins gets that one. Oh, and that one, there is no doubt that hit the pin. <laughs> it knocked it off the net. <laughs> so, 
that's the moon. You can see they're going to have to kind of fix that. I think that's all getting tied down now. <laughs> Murphy's still going. And Hutto steps in front of Atkins. There's a deep shot. Madison Mays goes deep and looked like uh, Mackenzie Smith reached up and hit it. All right, Simone. Murphy, middle to McCormick. Mays into the corner. She's liking that. 11-10, PH back on top. Scramble by Hanover, not enough though. Crowd gets a touch. Ooh, another good hit by Mays. She's starting to feel it. Thirteen ten. <laughs> Lawson back to serve again. Ooh, a little confusion there for the Hawks. Corcoran Peters. Timeout. Hawks, they're going to talk about it. Coach didn't like that. So PH trying to win two sets here. That would be good. I haven't updated the, the um, <coughs> excuse me, I haven't updated the schedule yet, but let's see here. I think you guys pretty much know the schedule. Coming in here, we won Hermitage, we won Highland Springs. We got tonight. I'll update it after that. Only one match next week, home against Farina on Tuesday. So a light week after a heavy week. It'll be our first time playing a team for the second time. Action has started. Into the net. I think that was Welsh. Nope. Uh, that might have been Atkins. Christina Atkins, number three. Lawson went on this run last time, too, between Hutto and Lawson. Really did a lot of damage, and that goes long. 16 10. Murphy having to push that one over. Good pass by Hutto. Middle, sour. Hawks getting a hold of that. Good adjustment by Atkins. And that's going to go a little long for Mays. She wants, she wanted it again, but a little too much air under that one. Corker. She's an underhand. Nope, she's an overhander. Oh, and it, not enough. So now Madison rolls back. That'll bring Annalise back to the front row. Milton with her giant jersey. 
A little far on that one for Mays. 17-12, PH. Here's a McCormick. Milton gets a chance at it. And there's another net violation, unfortunately. Oh, that's a double call, excuse me, on Murphy. Illegal set. Charlotte Thompson back to the front row. And in comes Gooch. See if Ryan Sauer can get on a run. Oh, good spot for the Hawks. Push that in, catch it. That. That was number three. I think that was Atkins. Yep. She made the kill, too. She has to get this off in about two more seconds. Yeah. We only have ten. Oh, good hit. Maze from the back row. I think that landed on the Hawk side. Yep, point PH. It's a good deep hit by Maze. Goldman coming in. She'll serve for Murray. Ace finding a seam. Goldman again, 20 to 13 pH. And Gooch goes deep with it. Goldman out to Simone from the left, right side, the right side. Good kill that time. Nice downward motion on that hit. 21 13. Goldman into the net that time. Often I am set up, as you know, on the opposite side of the parents, and sometimes I'm not. And when I'm not, I feel like <laughs> I'm right in the middle of everyone. And can be a little disruptive, I think, to folks. Oh, a little misunderstanding there. And Shelby Tomlin's in on the middle. She snuck her way into the match. Twenty-one fifteen. Oh, that's gonna sneak over. This is number eight, Mackenzie Smith serving. Oh, nope, off the wrong part of her hand. Melton serving for us. See if she can fi finish this off. Of course, that I just jinxed her, didn't I? Yep, I did. Saying that, shame on me. Atkins will come in for her. Charlotte Thompson back to serve. That was a big underhand. That was gonna be different. That's that's different to receive, certainly. Nice job. Shelby Tomlin found that middle zone. Kill for her. Who's in? Ryan's in. Shelby will sit. That means Emma will serve. And this, <laughs> the way she's serving this, well, I won't say it. I don't want to jinx her.
McCormick getting it over. Emma Mays. There's a good pass by Hutto and a sneaky push by Goldman catching the Hawks off guard. 24-17. All right, Hutto again. And you saw Peters get out of the way for the Hawks. Not something the libero usually does. And Sauer gets the final kill. Ryan Sauer finishing things off for the Patriots. PH beating Hanover 25-17 in set number two and taking the match 2-0. to zero. Congratulations to the Pats, to the Pat Riot getting crazy. Varsity's coming on. So we will be back again next Tuesday against Verina at home. So we will see you then. Thanks for joining.